Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope that I find you all well and tonight for tea we had this delicious sausage and mash pie if you're a regular on the channel you'll know just how much we love our bangers and mash so it's just a kind of different way of having it so as usual I'm just going to show you how I'm putting this one together all of the ingredients you will find underneath the video in the description box but I'll put them on the screen as we go so the first thing you want to do is get your sausages fried off. I am using pork sausage links but you use whatever you prefer but you want to give them about 10 minutes just until they're nicely browned all over. Don't panic if they're not cooked all the way through because we're going to continue to cook them in the gravy anyway. So lift those out, set them to the side, use the same pan. To this I'm going to add a wee knob of butter, let that melt down and then I'm going to add my onion. This is a medium sliced onion, so pop that in you just want to give it a good stir together. Make sure the butter is well coating the onions. Add a dash of salt and this is going to help draw the moisture out of your onion it will help sweat down your onion a wee bit quicker so give this about 10 to 15 minutes and it will start to go caramelized just like this and then to this i'm going to add one tablespoon of plain or all-purpose flour so drop that in and just give it a good stir together just until the flour disappears so a good stir in with that and then we're going to add some more butter so another tablespoon of butter stir that in as well and it will melt and disappear into the flour and onions let this cook away for about a minute just to get rid of the raw flour taste and then to this I'm going to add some sage and I'm also going to add some thyme you use rosemary or whatever you prefer I just think sage and thyme goes lovely with onion give that another few seconds and then we're going to add the sausages back in so you just want to cut your sausages into bite-sized pieces I done mine on an angle just because it's a wee bit fancier I am using beef oxo cubes but use whatever beef stock you prefer. So add in your stock half at a time. And just give it a good stir through and this is going to help avoid any lumps and it'll go nice and thick. And once it's thickened up, I'm going to add the rest of the stock again. Just give it a good wee stir through. Let this bubble away and then you can add your sausages into your gravy. And don't worry, you're going to think this is an awful lot of liquid, but it does reduce down. Pop a bay leaf in there as well. And then a wee splash of Worcester sauce. Give it another wee stir together. And you want to let this simmer away for between 10 to 15 minutes. Now it will reduce down and get slightly thicker. If yours doesn't or you think it's too watery, you can add in some arrowroot or cornstarch or something to thicken it up. But it will thicken and it will thicken in the oven as well. Remove your bay leaf because we don't want to be eating that. And I was really happy with this. So you just want to turn your heat off and let that cool down completely. I'm going to do my mash next. So get your potatoes into a pan. You want to cover these with cold water and get this up to the simmer. Once your potatoes are just starting to simmer, you can add some salt because if you add your salt at the beginning, it actually takes longer to boil and I have tested that. It does work. So add your salt in at this stage. Then you want to bring this up to a boil and you want to let these simmer away for about 15 minutes, just until they are tender, or when you push a knife in, you know, the knife goes in quite easily, just like this. So you don't want them falling apart, but you do want them nice and tender. Drain your water out and return them back to the pan. I like to add a wee splash of milk and a wee knob of butter as well. This is completely optional, but it does help to make your potato that wee bit smoother. So you want to grab a masher and just mash these until they're as smooth as you like. You don't have to mash them all the way if you prefer a rougher potato. I do like smooth mashed potato. I'm going to add some dried parsley as well. Well, just to make it a wee bit more interesting, give that a mash through and this is lovely and smooth at this point, as you can see. And you want to do exactly the same with your potato as you did with your sausage and gravy and just let this cool completely. I'm going to cover this just to make sure it doesn't develop a skin or go hard on the top. Like I said, just put your lid on and let that cool. We are going to have baked beans with ours, of course, so I'll heat those up later on. Once everything is nice and cool, you want to grab an oven dish. I'm going to put my sausages in the bottom and don't worry if you think this is looking dry because when it heats up in the oven, it'll all go nice and loose again. Same with the mashed potato. Just pop that on the top. 
make sure it's kind of even all the way across just to make sure everybody is getting the same amount of sausage and potato. Mine's is a wee bit more uneven at the end, but I like potato, so I'll start there. And then cover this with grated cheese. And that's it done. All you have to do is pop this into the middle of your oven for about a half an hour up to 40 minutes. Don't forget, everything is cooked. So you're really just warming everything back through just to bring everything together. And after half an hour, it'll be looking something like this. And doesn't it look wonderful? And it's absolutely delicious. But do let this cool down for about five minutes because this is going to be volcanic inside. It's going to be so, so warm. So do let that cool down. And this will do about four people because it's very, you know, it's quite heavy with your potato, the gravy. There's lots of sausages in there. So this will do it for people quite easily. And like I said, we are going to have our baked beans at the side because I think baked beans with anything like this is just perfect. You know, any kind of shepherd's pie, cottage pie, yeah, just lovely with the mashed potato. So let me know if you're planning on giving that one a go and a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for sharing the videos and for those that have bought me a coffee using the buy me a coffee link. It's all very much appreciated and I'm very lucky to have you. We've got such a lovely week community now and I do recognise so many of you. So thank you for coming over once again and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee video back here on What's For Tea but until I see you next, take care of yourselves and bye for now. Bye now.